What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so we are back again for another episode review of if loving you was wrong season five episode nine the great escape okay so we just gonna go person by person storyline by storyline because girl i got some stuff to say about a couple of these storylines first of all um edward you know i just really want him to go okay now stevens he found himself like Stevens, this was stupid. I'm I, I I don't know what type of FBI tactic this was that you was doing or whatever. It was so obvious. You ain't think about somebody else coming up there to the bathroom seeing some cable wires, um, jumpers or whatever, you know, on this ain't home alone th- two, okay? This you trying to be home alone three with the wires and stuff. Girl, listen, I said, What is happening? Electrocution, electrocution. Okay. He putting it on the um door, he going to the bathroom. Eddie up in the bathroom, he done stepped out the bathroom, you know, um, stall or whatever. Mind you, he's standing there wrapping his hands up. I said, oh, snaps. He wrapping his hand up, so if he bre- busts Eddie in his face, he won't, um, you know, do that much damage to his hand. Like, he won't like a boxer, you know what I'm saying? So he won't break his hand or whatever. I said, Stevens, let me see what you got. Hmm. I'm looking at you a little differently, okay? Stevens got, you know, Steven seems like he a good man. Like he a rat for his, okay? You know, like, um, I'm not finna let you just punk me, okay? And I'm not finna let you punk the people around me, okay? I'm finna stand up for mass. And I was like, all right, so you claiming Esperanza and all her drama? I would have been left that hoe. I'm sorry. I- I'm sorry. I ain't got time for it. It's like baby mama drama. Like, no, I ain't got time for it, okay? But, um, <laughs> Eddie up there talking mess. They talking mess to each other about what they going to do and, oh, you going to tell your daughter um, this truth about me and her mother and, and, and you up here feeding her lies. I tell my daughter anything, okay? You damn right. It was like, well, you going to tell her the truth about me and her mother. It was like, I ain't going to tell her shit. I tell her whatever the fuck it is I want her to know. I said, ooh, okay, okay, you know. At this point in time, I'm like, you know, Stevens, who was you to tell this man what to tell his daughter? But I get you. And I was like, Eddie, who was you to tell your daughter these lies or whatever because you can't let go and you don't want your daughter to see you for the a-hole that you really are because you're the one that's messed up the family the family the family had the family okay because the family my husband girl that's what it was i'm sitting here like eddie you messed this shit up you messed it up and you up here feeding lies to these youngies and you know kids are like sponges they soak this stuff up and you have just messed her up you know you feeding her lies it's probably gonna take her a while to look at her mother the same again and after what just happened it's probably gonna take a while when she figure out who did this shit it's going to take her a while to look at you the same again. The child, Lil Mika, you know. Now, see, I was hard on Lil Mika last week because I still feel like Lil Mika needed her little mouth pop because ain't no way in heck you finna get away from me, get away with me, and, and, and you calling somebody a whore, okay, and I gave birth for you. Girl, I carried you for nine goddamn months, if that. You know what I'm saying? And I breastfed you. You you, you suck my nipple till it was raw, okay? And you going to call me the whore? You going to call me a whore? I ain't had to do none of that, okay? Okay, see, Esperanza didn't get mad enough for me, and I'm still pissed about that. You know, and I said, look at the neighborhood that she in. They probably call the cops if, uh, you know, you strike a child or whatever these days. You know, they don't believe in whoopings no more. I ain't say beatings. I said whoopings, okay? I got whoopings back in the day. You know, a couple of slaps. That's what it was, okay? You know, with the belt or whatever. But other than that, I ain't never get my ass beat, okay, to the point where I couldn't sit my ass down. You know, so I don't know nothing about that life. A little whooping, a little spank here and there. Ain't nothing wrong with that. As far as you should have did that. Stevens up in there talking about something I'm finna pound your face in and all this stuff. I said Stevens. Because then another cop come up in here. Eddie pulled the gun out on Stevens. Like, what you gonna do? He was like, go ahead and shoot me. You ain't gonna do nothing. You not gonna do nothing. Because then how you gonna explain this? How you gonna explain this? I said... God damn. You know, Stevens, at this point, you kind of messed it up for me. And you want to know why? Because, you know, with the other officer coming in trying to be like, hey, what happened to the door? Mind you, Eddie tried to open up that door, got electrocuted a couple of times. So I said, yeah, this brought me up. I said, oh, you are such a psycho. And to be quite honest, that probably did <sighs> supercharge his ass up. But I said, Stevens, <sighs> sir, you did all this big bad talking for what? For what? No, just go ahead and punch him in his face or whatever. Don't quit. That's what y'all got to stop doing. Stop all this talking and shit, okay? Just go ahead and punch him in the face. That's what you need to do, all right? Um, You know, 
that that could have been well and done, okay? Meanwhile, when um Eddie walks out the bathroom, Larry out there. And I said, Larry, how you know Eddie was up in the bathroom? What you was doing? You stalking this man? What's happening? Okay? He was like, Eddie, 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 what's up? He was like, so what you doing, little Larry? Little Larry, what's up? Little Larry, what you want? It was like, you know what? I want the money that you took from me. This and I just spent that on hoes and coke already, so it is what it is. It was like, you know what? I'm getting the feeling that you don't want to pay this money back. Uh, that feeling would be correct, Alex. Okay, one hundred for that would be correct, Alex. You know, and I was like, you know, Larry, what you about to do? Cause Larry just got this. He has this calm demeanor about him even when shit's about to go down. That's why you can't trust a person like him, okay? And so at this point, he was like, so you mean to tell me like you ain't got nobody in your life that you love? He was like, I don't love nobody but myself. That's what it is, okay? He was like, you sure about that? He was like, yeah, you see how fine I am? You see me naked? And he was like, yeah, I have. Nice or whatever. I said, Larry, no. Snap out of it. Get back to what we talking about. Okay, because Larry went off in um, La La Land and he had a flashback. And I was like, what you do to him? Did y'all um play with him? That is messed up if you did. Okay, because that was, mm, you a lawyer too? Mm -mm, he got a case against you. But um, anyway, he talking all this stuff. Eddie still talking his mess. Next thing you know, um, you know, Larry trying to get confirmation. So you true, you sure that you ain't got nobody that you care about. Okay, cool. And he called somebody. He was like, oh, this is supposed to make me scared. He was like, yeah, it is. And he was like, do it. I said, oh, my God, who you on the phone with? Do what? Do what? Okay, we don't know yet. And so moving on from that, you know, um, Ian. Ian goes over there. Um, to talk to Lucian, you know, trying to see what's up with him, trying to see if he found Alex, um, because he needs to talk to Alex. Um, Alex is nowhere to be seen to whatever at this point. And, um, you know, he starts telling Lucian about the fact that Babyface was down at the, um, Babyface lawyer was down at the, uh, law office and that Larry tried to offer him a job and Babyface held his own and said no. But in turn, he went on ahead and fired me because Babyface called right in the midst of me call, um, talking or whatever. And at this point... At this point, you know, um, Lucian was like, okay, cool, whatever, so what you gonna do? He was like, that's fine. I mean, I ain't tripping off of it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sue his ass, okay? But what's gonna wind up happening is he gonna settle because I know where the bones and everything is buried at. And I said that, that's all I was thinking. When Larry went on ahead and fired Ian, I said, you truly, truly confident enough to fire somebody that's been around and know how you work in your dirty secrets. So, yeah, I truly do believe that Ian could win against Larry a settlement. Okay, because he don't want his stuff to come out and he probably gonna have him sign an NDA and all that stuff and say, for the next 15 years or so, you can't say nothing, you know, for this amount of money. But, um, anyway, moving on from that, um, <laughs> he trying to find out where Alex at. <laughs> Lucia like, boy, I don't know where he at, but uh, she at, but, um, you know, um... Lucian finds out that, you know, they used to mess around back in the day. He trying to find out if that baby he is, okay? And um, she was like, wait a minute, what? Lucian said, you think you know people? He was like, listen, I was one of many people that she was messing around with. Didn't know she was married. Didn't know none of this stuff. Lucian said, wow, I learned something new about everybody on this goddamn block every damn day, okay? Meanwhile, while Lucian was outside, Bennett rose up, you know, and he up there talking to him and he asking about the neighborhood, asking, you know, what's going on, the issues that's going on between Randall and him. And if you got any more problems, just let me know. Come up to the station tomorrow and we can file a report, you know, because he told him about Eddie. He told him that, you know, he tried to uh, file a report the other day, but... Eddie was up there. He was doing some crazy stuff. And he was like, yeah, that he, he far out there. And he was like, Randall gets into it with everybody in his neighborhood at this point. And it was like, you know, I just come back periodically to check on stuff or whatever. And Ben is saying, you know, he just rolling around making sure his um, wife is okay. And I was like, hmm, okay, cool. Meanwhile, um, back at Ian's, Ian goes over there to um, Brad, okay? 
And Brad was like, he when he came into the door, he tried to shake Brad's hand. Brad said, nah, what you want, bruh? What you want? He was like, I'm looking for Alex. What you need with Alex? Well, you know, it's some more divorce stuff that I need her to sign, you know, sign, seal, deliver, and all that stuff. I'm yours, you know. And he was like, okay, so uh, is you sure about that? It was like, well, you're not coming over here to see about that baby. That's what you want him for? Because, I mean, this is you, right, that she was texting. You was up here fucking around with a married woman or whatever because she's no longer here. I don't know where Alex at. She left. She done. She did what she did. And, and, and now you trying to figure out that baby you are because you was messing around with her around the time that baby came about. And I can do some math, okay? Now, you subtract the time that the baby was born a few months, nine months prior to that. This around the time that this baby probably would have been conceived. I said, oh, man. Brad was like, left that. Come on, people. Let's do our, let's get ready to do our math. How to figure out who can see the child nine months ago. Okay. So, we started with this date. Mm-hmm. And then we get this date. Mm-hmm. And we subtract and go backwards. Mm-hmm. And we see who was at that date of conception. Mm-hmm. And it's only one candidate. Mm-hmm. And they had to be in. I said, oh, Brad one plan, okay? You know, um, and it left it there. Okay, we're going to finish their storyline next week. And this whole thing with Benny. Baby. Randall then found the freaking video um, Tay, because he, I guess he hacked his hard, uh, hard drive. I guess he figured out a way to get into it. And he didn't see the video of Ben up there just messing up his house, okay? So he didn't record that stuff. He didn't get, got a box of pills, okay? And I said, so he a psychiatrist. He can prescribe medication. Oh my God, this is the, that is in the wrong hand. And I'm surprised that he not popping pills himself, to be quite honest, all right? Girl, he goes over there. He goes over there to Tanya's house, okay? Tanya's in the window, you know, got the fresh air blowing in, you know, she painting, manning her business at this point. And he come over there talking about something. Listen, look, your husband is the one that did this. Your husband is the one that did this. Listen, look at it, okay? Trying to show her the, um, the proof or whatever. And Tanya ain't really trying to hear it. You know, she see it, she knows it, but she ain't really trying to hear it because she ain't trying to sell her man out. Because, you know, her man is everything that she got, okay? He take care of her, he do for her, and all that stuff. You know, so she said, leave me alone, leave me alone. And she closed the window. I said, thank you, Tanya. Lock it at the top, too, because he can be devilish and pull it up and try to sneak it to your house or whatever. Girl, at this point, I said, he said, let me in. I said, who the fuck you telling her to let me in? I, call the cops, Tanya. Call the cops and say, oh, I was about to say something wrong. But after the events that happened earlier today that we've been getting into, that wouldn't be right. But in this situation, whew, I ain't going to say that because that's not right. That's not right. And y'all probably already know. And I said, you know, don't set yourself up, Randall. You're setting yourself up to get your ass beat up by the motherfucking cops, okay? And your shit probably will be warranted, you know? And I hate to say that. And he's a black man and we got all this stuff that's going on. But look at what he's doing, okay? Messing around with this white woman. You know how they cry wolf all the time. But at this point, you got a track record of fucking around with people. And everybody going to believe everybody else except for your ass, okay? And then he goes, open up their door. I said, wait a minute. We don't lock doors up in this neighborhood. What's happening? And that wasn't the only person that, girl, we'll get to it in a second. She was like, what are you doing? Why are you in here? What is happening? Randall basically came over there with the, uh, a bottle of pills, okay, and made Tanya rattle and have a little breakdown, you know, to the point that he switched her pills and gave her three pills at one time, three to four pills at one time. And I said... Tanya, I know you got some issues, but don't you know not to take medication or anything from strangers that you don't know like that? That ain't your husband, that ain't your mama, and that ain't your daddy. So why are you taking this medicine? Girl, I said, Randy, you ain't shit. I said, what is he giving her? What is he giving her? Basically, we found out that he gave her hallucinogen. That's what it was, okay? Next thing you know, Tanya... Kelly is back at home. We'll get to her in a minute. Kelly at home on the couch talking to Terrell. Terrell trying to hook that up, okay? I said, Terrell, the shift 
has shut sale, okay? The door is closed. But then again, the way that um Kelly Kelly just got out of jail. You just got out of jail. Two felons, you know what I'm saying? Put that thing together or whatever. And um we'll see how that pop off okay they look like they're gonna rekindle some stuff they probably gonna knock one out once at least one time but at this point kelly trying to stay strong she like nah bruh nah bruh it ain't happening he was like i mean you look good you look real good <laughs> i'm just saying you know you just got out of jail i got out of jail you know getting yourself together and all that stuff i forgot how decent and how good you look like you look real good like scrumptious sensational you know what i'm saying next thing you know the door open and tanya comes up in there tanya come up in there girl i said once again we don't lock doors up in this neighborhood and kelly you black okay come on we can't be doing that lock them damn doors okay we can't trust people like that and you ain't got to be black or white or whatever you could be whatever bitch we don't trust people like that lock the doors in this day and age lock the doors okay girl Tanya, Tanya come up in there. I want to call her Tanya so bad because of um, old girl from Real Housewives of Savannah. Uh, that's how you say her name, Tanya. It's Tanya. But anyway, she come up in there zombie-like. She's out of it. Sits down on the couch. I don't like it here. And um, uh, Kelly looking like, well, bitch, get your ass up out of here. Next thing you know, she was like, you're rude, okay? Before she said that, you know, she was talking about where she from. I'm from the valley, the blue valley and the blue this. And Terrell was like, I think she talking about the house across the street, the blue house or whatever. And I was like, well, sweetie, you need to take your ass over there. Oh, my God, you're rude. And she gets up and go out. Benny comes out there finally, you know, trying to get her. She's sitting outside. I said, Benny, get your wife. Take her inside. Randall come outside. Everybody in the neighborhood come outside trying to look and see. I said, this is a mess. This is a mess. Then speaking of messes, we got Alex, okay? Alex is at the bar still. She drunk as shit. She done passed out. Um, bartender, Mr. Bartender, he comes over there and he um wakes her ass up, okay? He wakes her up and was like, come on here. You need to get yourself together so that you can go home. And she was like, what you talking about? I'm going home with you, boo-boo. He said, no, you're not. I said, oh, wait a minute. What thing changed? She said, listen, as many people have come in here with their problems, trying to drown them away and, and, and trying to escape them, and the only way that you can get deal with, uh, deal with them is you got to face them, okay? You can't come home with me first of all he looked at how much of a mess she was and he just said no girl okay now at first maybe but now i see how much you like you too far gone for me so i can't deal with that shit you know so he said no nah, we're not gonna do this and then at one point she trying to convince him to stay or whatever and let me stay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that I'm, I'm i just had three kids look at me i'm sexy ain't i he was like yeah you cute or whatever but you still gotta go home and was like you know what she said she wanted to do something different. He was like, you want to do something different? Okay. I said, how do you get from telling her to take her ass home and face her responsibilities to pulling out some drugs and telling her to pull up her sleeve? I said, what was you about to do? Because at first, I said, if a needle pops out, I said, Alex, uh, wrong road, wrong road. I said, so first you finna turn your ass into an alcoholic. No. First, we found out you a hoe. Okay. Now you turned into a baby mama. Okay. Because... You know, outside of bread, I'm going to call you a baby mama because some other kids were conceived in wedlock. The other last one was conceived out of wedlock. And in this case, baby mama ain't too good because she ain't making it look good because you, 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 you act like a deadbeat baby mama, okay? And then, speaking of deadbeats, you a deadbeat mother at this point. So we got three strikes against you already. Then you turned yourself into a freaking alcoholic for a whole day, okay? And now you finna turn to drugs. God damn, Alex, you really finna go down this road? She about to hit her rock bottom. She ain't hit it yet, but she working on it. Not saying, no, Alex, no, don't do that. Alex said, girl, fuck that. I'm finna uh, get my sniff on. I said, okay, what about the children? She said, fuck them kids. I said, oh, all right, moving on from that. Natalie... Girl, Natalie, 
you have got to be so stupid. Natalie, you disappoint me so much. I never would have thought that I would be so disappointed by you. Like, come on, girl. Like, common sense ain't so common in your head right about that. And I understand, like, you've been hurt throughout your life. Men came and gone. You know, your other baby fathers have came and probably played games with you and that's why they're not in their kids lives and you know you get this man Lucian who not only take care of his kids but take care of your kids as well and I know he had some little discrepancies by lying about you know him being undercover him having a little bit of change or whatever but that ain't really nothing that you can really be upset about you need to understand that that's some job related stuff he ain't stepped out on you he's not bringing in another child with another woman he's not out here being a hoe he's not out here being an alcoholic a drug addict he's not beating your ass or anything okay because he could be doing all that stuff and i can understand you with your suspicions on that part but for you to be so stupid and to be so suspicious of him and kelly a friend of yours Someone that was supposed to be your friend, your homegirl. And truth be told, the friendship don't mean something, mean anything. Because look at what Alex did to Marcy, all right? Alex fucks her over and don't even give a shit, you know? And um, at this point, it's so stupid how you believe Eddie, of all people, of all people, Edward, you believed him. That she, that Lucian would even be doing something. You go up into Kelly's house. You hear some moaning and stuff going in there. You bust into the door and it's Terrell messing around with some hoe. Okay. Lucian and Kelly come up in there like, what's going on? What's come on? Because they outside in the backyard. And I guess they, I, I don't know what they was outside doing or whatever. But for, either way, they out there. And then, you know, Natalie was like, I thought, I thought, you know. And then, you know, she just left out. Okay. So at this point, Kelly is pissed off at Terrell. Why you got this hoe up in my bed? Okay, that's what she pissed off at him about. He getting up in his feelings talking about some, we ain't even together. I said, bitch, it ain't about the fact that y'all not together. It's the fact that I let you stay up in my house and not only did I let you stay in my house, you disrespected my house by bringing some random chick in my house and you didn't even have the decency to fuck her in the shower or to fuck her on the couch or to go to her place and fuck her. You fucked her on my sheets on my bed that I pay for, okay? That's what the problem is, you know what I'm saying? And I said, Terrell, if you don't get your ass out of here, Kelly said, get out. You got to get the fuck out. She wanted him to leave for at least a couple of hours so that she could talk to uh, Justice and all that stuff, you know. And I said, hmm, okay. You know, so Lucian goes over there talking to um, Natalie, you know, after he get off the phone with Eddie. And was like, uh, well, before, after that, he go get on the phone with Eddie. And he was like, Natalie, cool or whatever. But in real life, Natalie is not cool. Natalie is in her feelings about this whole thing. Why is she texting you? What is this and what is that? And I said, come on, Natalie. Stop being so stupid. And then Kelly wants to come over there and talk to her. And we're going to see on next week. She gonna bite Kelly's head off. And I said, are you serious, Natalie? Who hurt you that you would believe Lucius is the only good man in this show? Okay, you got the best man on the goddamn block and you acting this dumb? Why, Natalie? Why? Open up your eyes, girl. Don't nobody want your man but you. Okay? Granny Kelly didn't have to do all that kissing shit, but she was excited, okay? And it was harmless. Lucian knows what he's saying. Kelly knows what he's saying. She's saying, like, come on. It, it didn't even take all that. Meanwhile, back over there at Esperanza house, she on the phone um, talking, and I think she was talking. I don't know if she was on the phone. I can't remember. Either way, she was looking for little Mika, okay? Little Mika, 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 Mamita, Mamita, Mijo. Miha, I called to her little boy. Miha, come down, okay? Miha, what's going on, Miha? Miha, mamita. Girl, little Mika gone. All of a sudden, you hear some. Ah! <laughs> Why I scream like that? <laughs> Girl, you hear the little baby screaming. Uh, the little grown baby screaming. And um, here go Esperanza. Oh, my God. She gonna run out the house. So nine out of ten, 
Larry, when he said, okay, do it, that's what he did. He had her little baby, um, Eddie baby, because that's the only thing that he cared about, that little girl. Had her kidnapped, okay? Held for ransom until he give him that money back. Truth be told. Esperanza pissed me off in this instance. I know she probably was in a little bit of shock, but it's Esperanza, so I'm always find a reason to go end on her because I can't stand her, okay? I really cannot stand her character. Girl. Esperanza come running outside 15 minutes after they done put the baby in the car and drove off to a whole nother city. Okay? That's how long she took to come outside. You know, I said, damn, girl, your ears ain't that shot to follow the screens. The screens are going outside. Run outside, girl, your daughter. Come on. Okay? You don't see her in the room. You don't see her in the house. Run outside. She outside in the yard. Oh, my God. Mika. 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 Hmm. Oh my god. I said, bitch, is you gonna go back in the house and call 911? You stayed outside a little bit too long, okay? Call 911 or call somebody and say that my baby is gone. Why are you still standing out there calling her name? It ain't been a half. I said, girl, if you don't take your ass in that house. Uh, 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 uh. That was if loving you was wrong, y'all. If I missed something, tell me. Put it down in the comments. It's going to be spicy. We got three more episodes left until uh, for this first half, I believe. And we'll see what's going on with that. Next week looks like it's really going to be a good episode, too. Things are really ramping up. So, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.